Well, the prosecution resting its case in the trial of a former Midlands police chief. Utahville's former top cop says he feared for his life when he shot and killed Richard Bailey back in 2011. Good evening. I'm Janet Parker. And I'm Brian McConkie. Richard Combs' lawyer says he should not be found guilty of murder because his client was acting in self-defense. Now, the prosecution called nine witnesses to the stand over the past two days. In this racially charged case, Combs is white and Bailey was black. Our Tara Pettit was in the courtroom and has more. Day three on trial and charged with murder. Former police chief Richard Combs and his attorney faced a judge and jury on Thursday trying to convince them that Combs was standing his ground in May of 2011 when he shot and killed unarmed 54-year-old Bernard Bailey. Combs' lawyer John O'Leary spent much of the day Thursday picking apart the credibility of two key witnesses for the prosecution. Did SLED do an investigation? to determine whether it is even physically possible to stand at the ice machine and see 40 to 50 yards away over this median through the backer side of this tinted window in this truck to see whether a passenger has his hands in the air or not? We did not. The lead sled investigator in the case, Lieutenant Charles Gent, said investigators did not test to see if a person standing 50 yards away from the 2011 shooting incident could actually see what was going on. Based on that, based on what happened yesterday, based on when you ultimately heard that statement uh, somewhere down the line in your investigation, did sled ever do a determination to see whether it's actually even physically possible for somebody six foot seven to be sitting in that car and hold their hands over the top of their head? We did not. Gent also testified SLED did not test to see if Bailey, a six foot seven tall man, could even raise his hands in the air in the kind of truck he was driving. Combs' lawyer went on to say that he would like to hear Brittany Danzler testify, a witness who was very close to the scene when the incident happened, and far closer than the Dollar General, where Wednesday's witnesses were at at the time of the shooting. Two and a half pages of written testimony from Richard Combs was read out loud in the courtroom Thursday, where Combs detailed his memory of the shooting. He recalled that Bernard Bailey did not show any compliance and wrote, I could see the front tire of his truck going over my head. Combs admitted to shooting Bailey three times as he was falling to the ground, being pushed against Bailey's truck while trying to serve an arrest warrant. Combs will have another chance on Friday to stand in front of the judge and jury for day four of his trial. In Orangeburg County, Terra Pettit, Watch Fox News.